How's it going guys? I'm Chase Lee reporting for DallasMovieScreens.com and I got another movie to review for you guys and that would be The Revenant. Now The Revenant was my favorite film of 2015 so you know yeah I'm gonna give it a pretty high score. So let's get real and break this down. We'll start with the writing and the directing. Now it's directed by Alejandro uh, Gonzalez Inarritu and uh, he recently won best directing and best picture and best screenplay for uh, Birdman which came out last year and so I was really looking forward to The Revenant and I was not disappointed. Alejandro, my word, brings <laughs> the most visceral, brutal theater experience I've had in quite some time. This is a movie that grabs you by the throat and does not let go. It almost like felt like this giant dream as if like we fell asleep and we started dreaming of like frontier times and this is what we came up with. It's just, it's so beautiful and it's so like just, ugh, it's so grisly in some parts and it just, it just does not like go. Like it, it forces you to watch this and it's just, it's brutal, it's visceral and it's just downright dirty. But my God, is it a really great theater going experience. If you like Birdman, prepare to be stepped up a little bit because I like Birdman as well. But The Revenant, he outdid himself. It's one of those movies that you will never forget and his directing is impeccable. Loved it. Uh, Writing-wise, I mean, it's a pretty basic story. It's a revenge uh, tale. Uh, Hugh Glass, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, basically goes after Tom Hardy and gets revenge. Like, that's all I'm going to tell you. Like It's just it's just a uh, basic revenge story. So, um the story is not like you know the strongest thing ever, but you don't need to be. When you elevate like the directing, the acting, the cinematography, the music, and you elevate all that up, uh, it makes the story seem more palpable. So, um, uh, you know, the dialogue is not like it's not like anything great either. Like, uh, I mean, there's a couple uh, scenes that have some really good monologues and stuff, but other than that, like you know, the story and the writing are very basic to say the least. But like I say, everything else is so elevated that you know it really doesn't matter. So let's get into the acting. Leonardo DiCaprio, this is one of the best performances I've seen from him ever. Like, if, if I had to do a top three, this might be my third favorite. It, it just, oh, so brutal to watch, man. Like, Leonardo DiCaprio looks so dedicated in this role that you have to just give him props based on that alone. And it, it just looks like he really, he just went for it. Like, whatever the director or the cinematographer wanted him to do, he was going to go do it. And he was not going to argue. He was like, you know what? I want to make sure um, this is as realistic as possible because, uh, you know, if we're making a, mo a survival tale in the wilderness, it's got to feel realistic. And Leonardo DiCaprio totally brings that. It, like, I felt like I was watching this real-life person struggle in the woods and uh, uh, going to get revenge. So, Leonardo DiCaprio, our outstanding job. I really love Tom Hardy in this as well. I, I, see, Leonardo DiCaprio will probably get nominated for Best Actor uh, at the Oscars, but Tom Hardy will probably not get nominated for Best Supporting Actor, and he he killed it in this role. So I don't know. I hope he does. But he was he was disgusting. He was mean. He was a terrible person. I, <laughs> but he he delivered a good job. So you can't really uh, like his character's unlikable, but he played a good job at being an a hole. So. Um, the all of the supporting cast is really well too. Domino Gleason, uh, he's been in like a hundred movies this uh, or in 2015, so uh, he's really good. Um, Will Poulter came out of nowhere. I didn't even know he was in this movie. He was the the guy from uh, Where the Millers. I didn't see that movie, but I heard he was uh, pretty funny in that. But uh, he plays a different role in this, and he's a lot more reserved and a lot more held back. And uh, it's a very uh, quiet and calmer performance than Where the Millers. And I thought he did a great job. Cinematography. Emmanuel Lubeski. This is the guy who shot Gravity. This is the guy who shot Birdman. And he has won two Oscars in a row now. His Gravity came out in 2013 and Birdman came out in 2014. Lubeski is about to get his third Oscar. The Revenant is the most gorgeous film you will see in 2015. It is absolutely breathtaking every single frame image it's it's like a painting it is so gorgeous and when they do all these uh you know violent combat scenes it just astounds me that Lubeski was able to follow everyone so fluidly like I said it felt like a dream almost like this dreamlike uh type of atmosphere 
and he's following everyone and like everything is nailed precisely everything is in frame it, it hits its exact mark every single time and Lubeski is one of the best cinematographers in the business the revenant is one of the most gorgeously shot films in 2015 my word he is going to get his third oscar so uh watch out for that um and the thing is with his cinematography the the bear scene the infamous bear scene that everyone's talking about in this movie is so brutal and visceral and it's like how did they film this because they shot in natural light so Lubeski did, didn't have any lights to work with he he had to work with the sun fire a sunset sunrise whatever so just filming the bear scene alone I was like how did they do this there's like there's some movie magic going on in this movie and it, it just as a filmmaker I'm just like how what like it's crazy, but uh, Emmanuel Lubeski, if you're listening to this review, please shoot my next movie. <laughs> you are you're just one of the best. You and uh, Roger Deakins are my absolute favorites in the business today. So couldn't rave about the cinematography anymore. Um, uh, uh, and with the the beautiful cinematography, like uh, the colors are so rich and deep, like it makes the the woods look uh, just super uh, luscious and. Uh, uh, green and white with the snow and the leaves and stuff. I don't know. Okay, I gotta stop talking about the cinematography. Uh, editing wise, this movie is two hours and forty minutes, and I will be honest with you guys, you might be a little bored. You just might be. There's minimal dialogue in this. There's a lot of long takes and stuff with no dialogue, and it could feel a little bit boring. You'll you'll probably feel that. But for me personally, I was invested from start to finish, and I I was hooked. Um, am I going to lie and say there didn't feel like it was dragging? You could make an argument for that because, I mean, there's a um, a few spots where it seems like it's um, a little slow or whatever, but I, I looked past that and it looked, it looked fine to me. It felt fine to me. It's supposed to be a slow burn. It's supposed to get under your skin. Like, Inuritu wants you to witness this horror that's happening on screen and he, he wants you to... Uh, have it like kind of a uh, like latch on you and you're just like oh, oh I, can't, I can't do anything so um for me the pace and the rhythm were uh just fine and the special effects were really good on the the bear especially uh so but once again it's just one of those scenes that will go down in film history because i don't know how they shot it i don't know how they did everything so well like uh so the special effects were really good that bear looked really um photorealistic so i, I was really impressed so guys, The Revenant came out in uh, limited release in 2015, so it is a 2015 release, but it's opening everywhere January 8th, and I gotta tell you, it was my number one film of 2015. I'm gonna give The Revenant an A+. I absolutely love this movie, and I cannot wait to revisit it. So have you seen The Revenant or have you even heard of it? Comment in the place to open my face and let me know. And also let me know if you think Leo is going to take the statue this year. I'm going to go ahead and say he will. Uh, I'm probably wrong. So <laughs> we'll see. I'm Chase Lee, guys, reporting for DallasMovieScreens.com. And I'll see you guys for whatever I review next. See you guys later.